Do you occasionally struggle with anxiety or issues sleeping? Most Americans typically do. And if you're like me, it is good to get a great night's sleep sometimes with a little taking off the edge. That's why in today's Sup Insider, we're going to be talking a little bit about Phenibut. Chemical name, amino, ga or gamma amino, gamma amino, oh my God. Gamma amino phenylbutyric acid. Let's go. So, Phenibut, what is it? Okay, so Phenibut, gamma amino phenylbutyric acid, haha, <laughs> I got it right there, um, was first synthesized in the Soviet Union in the 1960s as a GABA receptor agonist. Now, GABA is gamma amino, or no, just a G, gamma amino butyric acid, basically is a neurotransmitter in the brain responsible for relaxation, sedation, calmness, focus, a lot of other things are tied to this neurotransmitter. Now, the problem with raw GABA is that it is not blood-brain barrier uh, accessible, meaning that it does not cross over into the brain to do its job. The cool thing about Phenibut, or Phenibut, however you want to pronounce it, is that it actually does cross the blood-brain barrier, and it does directly work on these GABA receptors. So believe it or not, after research articles done in Soviet Union, uh, it is a prescribed anti-anxiety medication in Russia. While it flies under the radar here in the United States, as a nootropic or a focus enhancing agent. It is not a scheduled substance yet. So guys and girls, what can this do for you? Taken at low doses, Phenobut has been shown to help with mood and positive uh, well-being. Now taken at a slightly higher dose, it is very, very anxiolytic and also depressing, or central nervous system depressing, meaning that it will put you to sleep very, very easily. The only thing that I would have to say here, uh, just personally and based on the research, is that the tolerance buildup is ridiculous. Taking this on a consistent basis can leave you with dependence, addiction, and withdrawal symptoms when coming off. So I always encourage people, if you're interested in this for anxiety or even sleeping, to make sure that you take a structured three to four days off after taking it for a while. And by a while, I mean more than a week at a time. It's a very fast buildup of tolerance. So guys and girls, if you struggle with anxiety or if you need help sleeping, this might be something to consider. But as I always say, please do your own digging, come to your own conclusions. And if you need the research, I am here with plenty of articles to provide it. Thanks and have a wonderful rest of your afternoon.